Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to fold an origami Olympic torch. So we're going to start right side up and then we're going to fold in half diagonally. And then we're going to fold the edge to the opposite edge. And then, once you do that, you're going to, again, fold the edge to the opposite edge. And this is a really cool model because it's the flame in the handle from one sheet of paper. And that's why this model stands out from a lot of other ones. All right, and then once you do that, you're going to unfold the entire thing. Now we're going to have it colored side up. For me, it's red. And then we're going to fold on the first crease on both sides. And if you have any, you should use... Um, one-sided paper, so colored on one side, white on the other side, and it should be red or orange or whatever color you want it to be, because then it looks like just the colors of, a, of an actual torch. All right, so now we're going to turn it over, and we're going to, again, fold on the first crease on both of the sides. Also, this is my first original design that I'm putting on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. And I designed this model like a couple days ago, I think. Now turn the paper over and finally pull the edges to the center. Now, once you finish doing that, you're going to turn the model over and fold the bottom up a little bit to wherever you think would be right for the amount of length or for the handle. Now, turn it over. And now we're going to open up the first flap a little bit. And we're going to fold the edge to the other edge. Now crease that and then fold the paper back on top of the fold. Now you're going to do that on the same on the other side. So Fold the edge to the other edge, and then fold the flap back over the other flap. Now, turn the model over, and fold the edge down until it hits the point on both sides. Now, we're going to fold the tip up a little bit for where you think the flame should be or where you think it would look right. So I'm doing it like that. So we're gonna fold the bottom edge up to the top edge. And then we're going to slide the paper out 
and then crease so that the paper looks like that. And I'll try to explain it a little clearer on the second side. So fold the bottom edge up to the top edge. And now slide the paper out. And you should crease from where the extra paper is. All right, so now we're basically finished. We can just do some minor adjustments. So I'm going to push down on the top a little bit just to give it more depth and to make it the flames look a little better. And now you're done with your model. So I hope you had fun watching and folding this model. Anyway, bye.